hello everyone so this is a highly requested video i'm going to show you how to use my zule bling adhesive along with the cluster gel to adhere flat backs and pointed back crystals like the ones that i have in here um so if you do not know how to use them then keep on watching it's super super simple so i'm gonna start off with the flat back ones because those are a lot easier I'm gonna be using the ones that I have in here so that I don't have to look for any other ones so my design is not gonna be like super symmetrical or like you know what I mean um so I'm gonna start off by adding a lot of glue because the crystals that I do have are on the bigger side you want to make sure to add more than enough for larger crystals and if you're working over a rougher surface which is going to be on top of acrylic your glue will dry a little bit faster than if you're working over a gel polish and then it also depends on the weather right now it's kind of cold so it might move around you'll notice that when it gets colder or hotter they tend to dry faster slower it just depends so that's where the activator comes in normally i like to spray the activator to help my glue dry faster oops um but the glue dries on its own you do not have to use it but i highly recommend it especially when using over gel polish because the glue does tend to dry slower and um you don't want your glue to turn white. If you take too long for your glue to um, dry, it will start to turn a little white. So that's why you need to have some activator here and there to spray. And then right here, I'm just going to add a little bit of the smaller ones. These are not Swarovski crystals. So don't feel bad if I'm just decorating the nail. You know, they're not original. So I like to apply a little bit as I go in small sections so that I can make sure that my glue is always wet. Because if you apply on this whole section and then you go diamond by diamond, by the time you get to the bottom one, it's already dry. Therefore, your bling will most likely fall off. And... um. Also, it depends on the type of crystals that you're using because sometimes the silver backing will stay behind on, on the nail and that normally is not the glue's fault. That means the top part of your rhinestone or crystal, whatever you're using, um, has came off, but the glue did the job. So make sure to pay attention to how your crystals are falling. And so that would be the... The application and you can always never be too safe you could always tilt the finger a little bit on the side for the bigger stones and add more glue just because the bigger ones are a lot more heavy or like nail decorations charms they're easier to fall off with a like a smack so to kind of secure them ex extra, you will do that. And then finally, when you're completely done, you will spray the activator. And this will just freeze the glue in place. Otherwise, like I said, if it's drying a little bit slower, they'll start moving around and ain't nobody got time for that. So spray the activator. And when you're completely done, after a few seconds, you clean the nail surface with alcohol so that you can remove any little residue. From the nail so I'll show you guys after when I'm done with the other nail next I'm going to be using the cluster gel and this one you have to cure in the lamp this one does not air dry like the bling adhesive so I'm gonna be using my little spatula side to take some out and then again it depends oops what how big your rhinestones are or crystals on how much you're going to need so I guess I'll do a big one I'm gonna start off with uh, right here so I like to work one crystal at a time always 
And I'm also going to be using my handy dandy LED light. This is a max, a really powerful light. It cures the gel in 10 seconds so that you do not have to be like sitting around waiting. Oops. And then this box already comes arranged like this. It's a ultimate bling box. So I'm just going to position it where I wanted, make sure that it's kind of straight. And then I'm just going to cure this. You don't want to put too much gel where like it oozes everywhere because um, I like to add one crystal at a time. And if I keep adding way too much, I'm not going to be able to cluster them together as I will be showing you right now what I mean by clustering them. I can't tell if it's been 10 seconds or not, but let's just pretend it's 10 seconds. So my next crystal, I'm going to place it here and I'm going to grab some more gel. You want to make sure that you dry the glue, the glue gel completely. Because if it's not dry, it will fall off. That's why I like to go one crystal at a time to make sure that it's dry. Oops. So I'm just going to use crystal AB right now. And I'm going to do... Should I put it there? That'd be kind of cool. No, I kind of want to put a cube. So I'm, I'm going to move it to the side. I'll just put it right there. And then I'm just gonna cure it. Hold on. Some of you. And cure for 10 seconds. All right, now I'm gonna use one of these little cubes. I'm just gonna pour them in here so they're easier to grab. And these little cubes, ooh, they do have a little shit. A little flat side and that's the side that you put face down so for this you could use the bling adhesive or the continue with the cluster gel I'm just gonna continue with the cluster gel since that's what I'm using right now and now this is gonna be really important you want to make sure to fill in the rest of the gap like the little center with the cluster gel so that there's no little gaps because if there's water that goes in there or anything like that or your hair or something gets stuck it can um kind of hold onto the bling like i don't know like a little string and then pull it and then it can come off so cure that all right and finally i'm gonna place the last little bead or ball or whatever you want to call this where my cube's gonna go and be careful not to get it on your bling but if you do wipe it off before you cure it so that it doesn't get stuck on your crystal so i'm just gonna place that there and this one is kind of big so it looks a little funny but you place them however you want okay this is just for demo purposes and then flash cure this so once you have your little cluster going on you can definitely keep adding more until you're like super satisfied i'm gonna go ahead and add some bling adhesive here only because the space is a lot smaller and these are not super pointy so at this point that glue should cover oh shit hold on let me flip it around it should cover that area come on you stupid diamond so let's try this again put it in there and the glue does take longer to dry, so we're going to spray it to a freeze. I'm going to go ahead and repeat on the other side. And remember to be generous with your glue because it is not magic. 
Oh, I don't know why they don't want to pick up. I'm going to use a little triangle one now on this side. And then make sure to spray it. These crystals are new to the website. And they are not Swarovski, but girl, they shined. So I'm just going to wipe them down now. Actually, I'm going to add another one flat. Let's see so you guys can see. Um, the little ones. I'm going to put this one. Just stab it into the gel. And you could even apply it by itself. You don't have to do a cluster. Mm -hmm. Alright, so now I'm just going to get a regular lymphy wipe or uh, whatever you have just to kind of clean the bling. And check it out. That is this nail. And then this one. Oh shit. That one was not dry. <laughs> That's the one that I glued on. Hold on. So this is what this one looks like. I forgot to spray the little activator. So make sure that if you're using the bling adhesive and your temperature, your room temperature is cold, spray the bitch because it will not dry that fast so i hope you guys enjoyed this little video don't forget to leave me a little comment and i'll see you guys next time bye